Hey, what's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG and uh, continuing our Wilds of Eldraine uh, release week theme here. Uh, we're going to do another set booster box of Wilds of Eldraine. I've opened up one previously. Uh, yeah, I think it was a medium box. It's really hard to tell at this point. Um, but uh, I am intrigued um, just by the set in general. Um, I know that it seems very mythic and top heavy at this moment. And, you know, it, that might continue to be the case, right? But I think it's early. Um, I think, obviously, there's a lot of emphasis on the Enchanted Tales. I think there's, a, a, you know, a lot of emphasis on maybe three mythics at the top, and then there's kind of everything else. But I'll be interested to see, as this set sees uh, more and more play, um, how many cards from it make their way into actual constructed formats, whether it's standard, uh, pioneer, modern, and of course, commander. Uh, but honestly, more than anything, we're just hoping to open some fun stuff today. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs. So since it is release week, you know, I'm still not going to worry about uh, actual pricing or value of cards yet. I, I would like to give it at least another week um, before we kind of dive in there. I want to see how the singles uh, settle, you know, even on um, you know, the anime stuff, the, the confetti foils and things like that. I'll be interested to see where the prices settle. We obviously know that there's some good cards in there, whether it's, uh, you know, Ristic Study or Doubling Season or whatever else, you know, that are just going to be playables. They're going to be good cards and continue to be good cards. But, you know, the question is, is um, what from the base set can start to stand out? All right, here we go. A lot of rat, uh, rat theme in this set, which I think is a good thing. I think it's a, a type, a card type that people are interested in. Questing Druid. So we got our first uh, foil rare of this particular box is a Showcase Questing Druid. And again, I'm a big fan of the adventure mechanic, and I love that they did cross-color this time. Um, it definitely seems like they're taking a more synergistic approach to how to build in this set. So, all right, pack foil Questing Druid. Neat. After that, a Ley Line of Abundance as I... Uh, Enchanted Tales Rare, I'll throw those up top here. Rankles Prankle after that. So that is a the uh, rare Rankles Prank. After that, we start hitting into our Uncommons and Commons after that. I even think there's some like just flat out good Commons and Uncommons in this set. It's our it's the Iron Crag, the, uh, the rare. Also a two mana rock, <laughs> a two, two mana rock at rare level in this set, pretty good. So, I think that, you know, right now I've heard a lot of, uh, you know, just a lot of, again, it's mythic heavy. There's nothing at the rare level. And we'll see if that that, that might very well be the case. But um, I'm going to give it some time first. Corvold and the Noble Thief as a foil uncommon. Uncommon is intangible virtue as the, uh, as the Enchanted Tale, as an uncommon Enchanted Tale. Okay. After that, oh, Goose Mother. Nice. Uh... Again, really, really reminds me of Hydroid Crisis in terms of what it does, and uh, I think it's a good card. The question is, green has been really, like, not that great in standard for the last couple of years after having a hellacious run between, uh, what, 20, 2019, 2020, and 2021. Um, is car are cards like this enough to kind of bring green back into the meta or, or overtake black? Mythic is Gawain, the casting director, so that is a commander mythic. And I haven't spent as much time looking at the commander cards from this yet, yet, admittedly. So I'll have to go back and look at this. I really haven't read through them yet to see if there's any, any bangers in there. All right, after that, we get into our uncommons and commons. Mountain. And, uh, oh, it's cool. It's uh, anime, anime karmic justice with the uh, gold stamp. All right, neat. Again, I don't really... The gold stamps don't do anything for me. Uh... You know, I've said this a million times, but there's going to come a day when there's going to be actual artist signatures in there or like redemption cards for artist signatures. When that day comes, sign me up. Thousand percent sign me up. All right, here we go. Ice Out. Interesting take on, uh, I mean, is it technically kind of a strictly better cancel? Um, yeah, so there you go. Foil Common. Ice Out. Uncommon after that is Utopia Sprawl. Very nice. Rare is a Lord Skitter Sewer King. I'm going to throw this up top. I don't really have any good reason for doing it other than I'm kind of interested in building around uh, maybe a rat theme deck at some point. After that, a we get into our Dreaming Duelist. Up the Beanstalk, a uncommon people are actually pretty excited about. <laughs> Screen Puff. This card is a really good common and uh, also interesting and awesome. I love the food stuff, the food theme stuff. I think it's really, really neat. All right. 
Um, after that, we got our planes into our art card. Cool. I've yet to pull a Beseech the Mirror for my for myself, and that is the, the big chase card. There's really three. It's Beseech the Mirror, it's Moonshaker Cavalry, and Agatha Soul Cauldron. Those are the big chase mythics. All right. Charging Hooligan as a foil uncommon. Oh, nice. Hey, all right. Uh, that is really cool. That's actually a pretty solid hit. So that is a uh, that is a waifu omniscience. Very very nice. I uh, think omniscience is an awesome card, and I think the art on that is uh, tremendous. So that's really fun. I dig it. That's a, that's a, that's actually probably end up getting, going to be a pretty good hit for us as well. Awesome. Sleep curse fairy. After that, collector's vault. An uncommon. I really really like. It's actually a card that I was really excited to to throw in some decks. Pretty good at the uncommon level. All right, forest after that, and our art card after that. So cool, anime uh, anime omniscience is great. <laughs> that is a that is a exciting pull. All right, continue with my love hate relationship with the list because we've got a list common that is Capenna Express. Uh, just came out in Streets of New Capenna, which was last year, and it wasn't even a good common then. So, yay. Foil common is a voracious vermin. Mm-hmm. Uncommon is a raid bombardment off the Enchant Tales. Rare is another questing druid. And after that, we've got fairy fencing, dream spoilers, and some other sweet uncommons and commons. Got our land. And uh, is that the Scalding Viper? I think it is. What are these? Oh, these are just random comments that I put down at the top. Uh, comments I put down at the bottom. That's why I was like, "Why do I have an extra pile here?" All right, cool. Trucking right along here. Foil and common is a cheeky house mouse. Man, like just a strictly better savannah lion. Pretty good. Season of growth. Mythic virtue of courage. Nice. I think the virtue cycle is pretty good. So uh, virtue of courage, I will take. I pulled a couple of them, but that's okay. Not upset about it. After that, a Court of Garenbrig. That is a Commander Rare. And after that, Gadwick's First Duel. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. I like that the Saga. Sagas are such well-designed cards that I know a ton, not a lot of them carry like a substantial amount of value, but I think they're just really good cards as far as card design and mechanics are concerned. Is that, uh, what is this? Defense of the Heart. Okay, all right, neat. Love the art on that. Also a really good card independently, so wouldn't mind pulling one of those. All right, here we go. Water Wings into Impact Tremors. Rare is a Hilda's Crown of Winter. I think this is a pretty good card overall. Not going to be like a, you know, a massive value, but that's a good card. Provisions Merchant, Knight of Sweet's Revenge. Also a really good uncommon. Also a really good uncommon with uh, Tough Cookie. Nice. That was a, actually a solid pack of uncommons there. Okay. Approaching the end of our first third of the box here, and uh, so far doing pretty well, I think. All right. A little elemental token. Rowan's Grim Reese, uh, Search. Rare is a Ley Line of the Void. I pulled a lot of Ley Lines of the Void. I mean, that's not even necessarily a complaint, but as far as like the uh, rare slot for the Enchanted Tales, I pulled a bunch of those. Restless Vinestalk after that. Pretty good. Uh-huh. Become Brutes. Rowdy Research. Gingerbread Hunter. Bulls of Porridge also was really good for me in uh, Limited when I played it in, in Draft. And some sort of Griffin friend. All right. So we are at... We are at three Mythics right now? Hey! So I like this. I'm cool with this. This is a mythic off the list. It is the Royal Scions. Back in when when Real, Will and Rowan were not just uh, brother and sister, but also besties. No longer appears to be the case. But that is a Throne of Vildrain. I like I like that. Thematically, I'm cool with that. So we have a mythic off the list. We have Intangible Virtue after that as a foil. Grasping Fate after that. Food Fight. And edge wall in, tangle span lookout. Actually, I think this card is pretty good too. Doesn't trigger, it triggers more than once per turn, so pretty good, uncommon. Okay, last pack of that first column. I guess I can put the mythic off the list up top. 
uh, rest in peace. I have pulled, uh, it's a foil rest in peace note, nevertheless. What's funny is I think I pulled like three rest in peace, and they're all, I think they're all foil, the ones I pulled. So, okay, I'll take it. It's a good card, so not gonna, not gonna be upset about that. Curiosity after that. The Apprentice's Folly after that as a rare saga. Decadent Dragon in the Showcase, actually a pretty good rare in its own right. And pretty good end to the first column of the box. So right now we are at three Mythics, four if you want to count the one off the list, and why not? We'll throw it up there. I don't typically count that because it's the list slot is just, it's different, but sure, why not? All right, on to column number two. Start busting these out here. All right, here we go. We got our beast token into the Dreaming Duelist. After that, a Vampiric Rites. Hatching Plants. We had double, double Enchanted Tails. Rare is a Tangled Colony. Neat. More rats. Let's go. Throw that up top. Red Tooth Vanguard. All right. Neat. What's everybody else's impression of this set so far? People liking it? You guys enjoying the set? You guys not enjoying the set? You guys over it already? Is it like on to Ixalan? <laughs> hey, Consume Spirit. That's a quality uh, uncommon off of the list. Cool. I'll take a Consume Spirit. After that, Diminish Witch. Diminisher Witch. Polluted Bonds. Nice. A quality uh, Enchanted Tales rare. We'll take that. Mythic is an Ashiok. Hey, I pulled another Ashiok. Cool. All right. Curious to see what level of play Ashiok actually sees. Um, very curious about that. All right, and into our uncommons. And commons after that. Land. Super sweet art card. Ashiok seems really, really interesting. All right. Chancellor of Tales. Dark Tutelage. Pollen Shield Hair. Actually, a, a rare that I, I kind of like. Which is vanity, good quality, uncommon. Taken by nightmares. Land and art card. Okay. Approaching the halfway point in the box, the highlight is definitely the omniscience, uh, the anime omniscience. But we other have we have some other decent pulls in here as well. Here we go. A little food action. Curse of the Werefox. Mythic is a smothering tithe. Nice. Uh, what's funny is I've gone on like a little smothering type run. I pulled a bunch of these, uh, in the, uh, out of the, uh, Enchanted Tales slot. None of the anime though, but you know what? A really, really solid pull nonetheless. Upshifted to Mythic. We'll take the smothering type. Not bad, not bad. Griffinary after that. Song of Totenance after that. Uh, it's like Pied Piper and that's actually a really good card, especially if you're going to go with that, that rat type. Knight of Doves, Soul Guide Lantern, Spell Scorn. Coven and our art card. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely take the smothering type. So, Enchanted Tales continuing to lead the way. Oh, hey, there's a good list pull. All right, all right. So the list list heard me talking trash. Cavalier of Thorns. So we got another mythic off of the list. This is a reprint from Core 2020. Another set that I, if you are familiar with my channel, you know I like quite a bit. Cavalier does see uh, some some pioneer play as well. And I think this is probably like, I don't know, like typically like a $12, $13 card. So that's really not a bad pull. That's a really good list pull. Probably as, as well as I've done in some time. <laughs> Twisted Reality. Dawn of Hope. Feral Encounter after that. Uh, interesting rare. I think it's actually kind of a good card. Ashiok's Reaper. Glass Casket, good reprint at Uncommon. A Glass Casket, when it was in Standard the first time. Ooh, there's another uh, art card. Cool, is that Throne of Veldrain? Um, the actual name of the card, not the set. Uh, Glass Cast saw a bunch of standard play when it was uh, in uh, rotation during Throne of Battle Drain, so curious to see if, if it has another run. All right, here we go. Aquatic Alchemist, Garrick's Uprising, Stab Wound, Rare is a Spellbook Vendor, also kind of a good little card. I don't know why I have so many different piles. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, the Spellbook Vendor. Tattered or Ratter. And that's going to probably wrap it up for this pack. Art card. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Here we go. Howling Gale Fang. 
Another ground seal. Again, you're not going to be in short supply of the uncommons off the Enchanted Tales. Hey, Iron Crag, that is a good quality rare. Again, uh, two mana, um, two mana mana rock, pretty good. Experimental connection uh, confectioner. No foil forest and is that Rowan off of uh, the art card slot? Okay, here we go. Three packs left in this middle column, and I think we're doing okay. I don't think we're crushing it. I definitely don't think we're getting crushed. Commune with Nature. Uncommon is a Dragon Mantle. Rare is a Spiteful Hex Mage. One for a 3-2. It does have a little bit of a drawback, though. A little curse action. Storyteller Pixie after that. Ruby Picnicker. Mm -hmm. Not dead after all. A common that will likely see modern play. And uh, is that another is that another Rowan except for that then the uh, showcase? Okay. Splashy Spellcaster. Rare, Aggravated Assault, and in the anime. So we have hit two animated, uh, animated, anime, uh, rares off the Enchanted. And uh, Aggravated Assault and Omniscience is not a bad way to go. Really, really good hit for us. Nice. I will take that. Really, really sweet. I don't know why I keep saying really, really, but there it is. <laughs> Elvish Archivist after that. And uh, you know what? Not bad. Not bad, not bad. So the best, you know, kind of continuing the theme of the best pulls right now have been off of the Enchanted Tales. Although, again, I still think there's a lot of playables in the actual base set. Last pack of the middle column. <clears throat> Kellen's Light Blades. Spreading Seas. Mythic, Agatha. Okay, so Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. Said this before, and I'll say it again. It's a card that intrigues me. I think you have to build around it, but I think it's kind of a sneaky good card. It is a Mythic. It is Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. So we did hit another Mythic out of the actual base set. Horned Lock Whale in the showcase. Throne of Eldraine. There we go. There's a commander card that people are excited about, and there's the picture I was referring to, the art card. That's actually a quality a quality pull. We're going to throw that up top there. Ember of the Veteran, Imidane's Recruiter, <laughs> Gallant Pie Wielder. Awesome. Into our Swamp and our crazy looking art card. All right. So what are we at? Eight. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at nine Mythics, but two of them are off the list. Here we go. Ariat's Whisper. Rare is a Ley Line of Lightning. So we have hit three Ley Lines in this box. A lot of ley lines. All right, Griffinary. Lich Knight's Conquest. Also a card that I think is actually independently pretty good. Um, probably more of a commander card, but still good. Tenacious Tome Seeker. High Fae Negotiator. Another Soul Guide Lantern. Not dead after all. So I don't know how many more Mythics that we have lined up. We have two of them, again, off of the list. So the list chose to participate in this box opening, which was nice. Um, so maybe might have one more mythic in here. Here we go. Lord Skitter's Butcher as a foil uncommon. Intruder Alarm, a pretty good Enchanted Tales reprint. Rare is a Restless Bivouac as the uh, regular old Manland. Taken by Nightmares, Ashok's Reaper, uh-huh, uh-huh. Foil Mountain. And uh, is that the Horned Lock Whale, I think? All right. List hit. I'm okay with their putting list hits on here that are from original Throne of Eldraine. I, again, thematically, that works for me. So that is Linden, the Steadfast Queen, uh, and a decent card. Uh, and uh, it's a list rare. It's, it's not going to be like a value hit. It's not even a value hit in the original Throne, but it is a Throne of Eldraine reprint on the list. That is rare. Bespoke, Battle Garb, Spreading Seas, Mythic, Will, the Scion of Peace. All right, good old Will. Mm-hmm. Interested to see if Rowan or Will really take off. They're both interesting to build around. Oh, and a Borderless Ashiok in the same pack. All right, so we were good. We were live for two more Mythics. So Borderless Ashiok, really, really sweet looking art. Wildly different than the uh, than the non-Borderless version in terms of art-wise. Cheeky Little Mouse, Twisted, Twisted Witch. And that uh, is going to do it for this pack. So we got two more Mythics, and they were both in that pack. 
So we're going to bring our mythic count pretty high here. Here we go. Rat. Cut in. Rare is a Phyrexian Unlife. So it is a uh, Enchanted Tales rare. Stab Wound after that. Charming Scoundrel, a pretty good, uh, pretty good rare. I think this is definitely going to see some aggro play. Swarm Piper. Yup, yup, yup. Planes and cool art card. All right, looks like we have about five, maybe six packs left. Another list card here. We have Doomed Traveler. That is a Double Masters 2022 common uh, list hit. Sure. Stab Wound as a Foil Uncommon Enchanted Tales. Garrick's Uprising, another Quality Uncommon. Rare is the Huntsman's Redemption. Charging Hooligan. And that's going to do it for this pack. I'm not sure how... Yeah, I don't know that we're going to be able to predict any more uh, Mythics out of the uh, out of this box. We What are we at? Like, probably a 10? All right, here we go. Foil Rare, Restless Cottage. Nice, we got another Foil Rare out of this box, and it was a Restless Cottage. I will take that. That's uh, that's quality. I'll take that. Uncommon Compulsion. D another Decadent Dragon, so a double Decadent box. <laughs> Good quality Rare. Glass Casket again. Very nice. And it's going to do it for that pack. Little Foil Planes. And a second that time without the signed all right. Hmm. Three bowls of porridge. Quality uncommon, especially. Was really good for me in limited. Mythic. Defense of the heart. Nice. So we did get another mythic uh, off of the Enchanted Tales. So we have two mythics from there and then two anime mythics off of that. So really score. Well, I guess Aggravated Assault is, is technically a rare. Uh, but really scored off of uh, the uh, Enchanted Tales slot. Defense of the heart. Really good. And just a quality, <laughs> quality mythic. It is quite good. Tale for the Ages after that. I have yet to hit like a doubling season or a Ristic Study, but honestly, I'm not going to complain about Smothering Tithe, Defense of the Heart, and uh, even Aggravated Assault, and then, of course, the anime uh, Omniscience. All right, here we go. Conceited Witch, Ground Seal. Ingenious Prodigy as the rare. Uncommon is Pests of Honor. More pie wielding. I think this is going to end up turning out to be a, this is our third uh, gold stamp card of the box. I think this is going to end up being a pretty good set box for us. Here we go. Human. Cursed Courtier as the foil uncommon. Knightly Valor. Rare is a Gumdrop Poisoner. And Picklock Prankster. I kind of like the Gumdrop Poisoner. Sneakily good. Ego Drain. Last pack of the box. We have a Netherborn Altar. So this is another rare off of the list. So they definitely packed the list in this set. I was going to point something out in the, in the first box opening because I was like, eh, wow, there's like multiple rares off the list. Like we have two mythics and a rare off the list in this one. Two rares off the list in this one. Netherborn Altar. This is a commander rare. Uh, eh, you know what? And it's, uh, it's again, yet another rare off of the list. I really feel like they beefed up the list slot in this box. Or in this uh, set. Bellowing Bruiser. Copy Enchantment. All right, nice. Another rare off of the Enchanted Tales. And a decent one at that. Uncommon is a Dragon Mantle. Mythic. We got another Mythic. It is Rowan. So we got Rowan and Will in the same box. Scion of Peace and Scion of War. They are, uh, they're at it again. And we got the Scion Twins. So we got them uh, playing nice together and then not so much. Um, that is a Mythic. I think Rowan's great, by the way. This card is impressively good. Belligerent of the Ball. Howling Gale Fang. And uh, boy, that's going to wrap it up for us. But this ends up being a pretty good box for not having... Any of the three cards that we talked about as far as like the big mythic hits from the set, right? No Besiege the Mirror, no Moon Tricker Cavalry, no Agatha's Soul Cauldron. And yet, Defense of the Heart, Aggravated Assault in the anime, Smothering Tithe, Omniscience in the anime, and then one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mythics in this set box. Two of them off of the list, which I wouldn't normally count, but 
Holy moly. Double Decadent Dragons, Throne of Eldraine, which is a really good commander card, Iron Crag, which is a two-mana rock, rare. I think for not having any of those three, this box still ends up being incredibly good. So that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.